When I had to write my master's thesis, which was on the subject of cybernetics, actually the title was Managerial Concepts and Cybernetics. I had the impression this must have been the work of destiny. My eyes fell on a book, a large book. Decision and Control by a certain Stafford Beer. I took it out and I asked myself, well, I had a whole meter of literature already. Uh, shall I add it on top? We had only six weeks' time to write this master thesis. 456 pages. <laughs> I opened the book. And what struck me was this, decision and control, the meaning of operational research and managerial cybernetics. So, of course, this was at the core of my master thesis. And this book actually changed my life completely, profoundly. It gave me a completely different view of the world, of the working of the world, of society. Br the book is brilliantly written in, in, in perfect British English, high class. And so the idea came up, let us meet the man, <laughs> personally this time, physically, so to speak. We had to spend the last penny to visit Stafford. By car to Wales was a long journey. And we had some troubles to find that hidden uh, place down in a valley. And we met Stafford. A very impressive, tall man with a beard, with a cigar. Let me show you a picture from that time, if I may so. This is a, a rarity to me, and it's very precious to me, actually. Uh, Stafford and us, we met at the beach of Wales in Aberaran, and uh, I hope the camera can can... Uh, take it. So you see, this is this is Stafford here, as you see, beside him, me as a young man, and then my colleagues here. One is one of my partners today, Karl Heinz Oehler, and this is Schilbert Probst, one of the next generations younger than we were, uh, sitting at the beach uh, near <coughs> Aberaeron. Look, this is a, the icosahedron, which is the model of the interconnectivity of 30 to 40 people as the basis of a disintegration. And what is important is this. It is an absolutely non-hierarchical interconnection, a structure which is non-hierarchical. There is no up and down, it's all equal, no bosses, but just participants. It is as undescribable as a great symphony of Beethoven or Mozart. By language, it's not possible. You do not grasp Beethoven by <laughs> describing his symphonies, but one, it's very easy to experience it, just sitting in the concert hall and listening to it. And disintegration has actually to be experienced. If you go through the process, you know it quite easily. What does it do? It is a spectacularly efficient way of solving the most difficult problems doing it in a completely interrelated and integrative way. So it is like magic. So to give just one example of what integration really can achieve, we can save the lives of companies. Companies which are actually economically dead are after a integration healthy again. It sounds miraculous, but we did it. A company with roughly 2,000 employees, insolvent, showing a loss of 50 million euros, bank closed the credit lines, 
as a last hope we did this integration after three and a half days and doing some calculation and setting up the project. They had invented over 70 new measures which were not known before. Just by combining their information and their distributed knowledge, the company could make a new budget which showed 50 million of profit. The bank opened up the credit line and today, 18 months after the event, the company is in a very healthy, prosperous state. By disintegration. This was the event in the, which saved the company. People, it happened yesterday in our organization, just uh, spontaneously begin to think of how we could we spend the evening, and this one has an idea and that one, and so yesterday uh, roughly hundreds, hundreds of us came together in order to play music by using rhythm uh, instruments, um, drums and all sorts of uh, noise making, but by that way music making uh, devices. <laughs> My idea, or even the mission is, with my organization, to spread the information about the capacity of this uh, methodology of solving problems around the world. So my dream is that in every organization in the world, in every village, in every state department, all over the globe, they should know about the possibilities, about the power of disintegration.